Went and picked up a local dresser. She had it up for 10 bucks. I said, I'll give you 20 bucks because I know we'll outbeat the competition. And went and got it. And they actually followed us on Instagram. They're like, oh my God, like, I'm so happy you guys got it. So that's cool. And just showing us a couple of the damages. Nothing too, too crazy. It'll end up getting painted. Megan's saying she wants to paint the whole thing, but keep this part like exposed wood and the base. So it's kind of like a two-tone vibe. But that's super cute. Definitely needs some love. But uh, we're on our way to go meet someone to hopefully sell some stuff. Antique update. Someone purchased this already. We bought that for $225 at a thrift store. And Megan made it look nice and pretty. And it sold in like, what, like a day or two? A day, yeah. Yeah, 24 hours it sold. Paid $225, sold it for $695 or $50? Six fifty on Instagram, and then another lady came and purchased uh, a couple of Crocs. I was over here, and she drove up from here, drove up here from Texas. But she's really interested in purchasing. Well, hopefully, we don't know yet. Either this whole cabinet, or that whole cabinet, or this one right here, which is what this one looks like. This is seventeen hundred and like fourteen hundred or fifteen hundred and fourteen hundred, something like that. And she bought a couple of Crocs, and she wanted to know, hey, like, can I buy the rest of them, more or less, like, what's left? So, if she's supposed to buy everything she said she's going to... She's getting these. Oh, yeah. So, she's getting these Crocs. These chairs. These two chairs. And this side table. And that lamp, what's she asking about? No, it's a different lamp. Oh, a different lady. Side table. And then this uh, side table, which we were using in our own personal home. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were using this as like a side table to our couch and, you know, it'd store like the TV remote and whatever. So, yeah, this is 595 She said, you know, 80 bucks for the pair of the chairs. You know, those were our personal decor chairs, but, you know, we don't really use them anymore. And then a bunch of the Crocs and stuff. So if she buys those handful of things, it's like 895 Yep. And then hopefully she buys one of these other ones, the bigger Chunguses, and uh, maybe get like... $2,200 out of the low out of her, so that'd be pretty cool. And then going over here, and the stuff we sold this morning. oh, yeah, we sold some stuff this morning too. And the crocs were on this old, like, ew, don't show this. They were being like, gross. Well, it's just part of the reality. And the crocs were on top of this old table, well, like this like farm cabinet thing we've had forever. Mm -hmm. And this was in our personal home, and we decided that you want to try to sell it. And we so get a bunch of people. Yeah, get a bunch of people saying like, oh, I'll come pick it up tomorrow. Could you do 400? Like, yeah, no problem. And like, oh, sorry, you know, it's, it's way bigger than I thought. And I was like, the dimensions are in the ad, but okay. But yeah, the pots were sitting on here and they like somehow got like moisture yeah, underneath moisture them. stuck in it or something. And so it like molded. So that's kind of weird. Yeah, I have no idea how they got moisture trapped under them when they yeah. were cleaned and dried before we brought them in. I don't know. Definitely. It's been really hot here, so I don't yeah, know it's been like a hundred degrees here, and so maybe it's like, I mean, obviously our storage unit isn't temperature controlled, so yeah, I don't know. Probably aliens. Yeah, and then uh, we sold. I'll put up a picture right here. We sold this piece, and we also sold this piece. The first one was a uh, like brutalist low boy dresser we bought like literally like around the corner from where we live and that was ten dollars and we sold it for 350 and then the other one was a black hutch that megan painted we've had it for two months three months, yeah, two months. about two months and i think we i think according to my data we probably paid 40 to 90 dollars for that piece and then plus you know supplies paint time whatever and the lady bought that piece for 650 and she didn't want to come look at it. She just said, hey, I'll pay the inside white glove delivery fee, like, up front. And, you know, just the whole money up front. And it ended up being $1,200 total. So it's a pretty good morning payday. It's about, like, 8, 30, 9 a.m. right now. And we're trying to, like, get a bunch of stuff done while we're outside because it's about to get ridiculously hot. So I'm trying to help her as much as I can before I go downstairs in my cold little gamer cave and work on my stuff. And I think now we're about to go get breakfast at this cute little breakfast spot we found our, the other day. So, talk to you in a bit. And I forgot that someone this morning, someone this morning offered $1,800 on this giant bookshelf. 
Uh, we have it up for 2000 as like an I don't want to sell it price because we kind of don't. But at the same time, like if you want to pay our I don't want to sell it price, you know, we'll sell it. So something super duper insane just happened. This has been our personal collection for maybe like a month. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. And we're trying to get ready for, you know, for when our, our move does occur. So we're trying to like downsize our furniture collection as much as we can. Within reason, you know, we're not selling that. We're not selling Einstein and a bunch of the pottery and stuff. But uh, some lady just came and picked up, well, we're delivering this piece. And this piece we've had no the one i just showed the yeah the one we've had it since february it's currently july 12th i think right now and it is two pieces and the lady just moved here from california so shout out to you christine if you ever end up watching my youtube videos she said yeah i'm looking for something like kind of like long to go in like a hallway and i was like oh like i have this piece the one i just showed you in the very beginning of this clip and she's like oh my god like how much and i was like asked the wife like how much do you want to get she's like i don't know like 11 to 1200 i was like great 1295 it is and the lady just said oh my god it's absolutely perfect and, and then she's buying it right now so we're delivering that little pine buffet and then also the two-piece pine like buffet cabinet not buffet but pantry cabinet uh so far today's today's sales are 3180 for my wife and then also i'll show you one more piece that's about to sell in any second now hopefully they show up here is the garage, and someone's coming right now to buy this monster nine drawer dresser. We put it up for one thousand five hundred, and there's two people that want to come get it. Someone's coming right now. It's supposed to be here at twelve, which is like two minutes away, but she says she's ten minutes late, so that's good. Well, hopefully it sells. And so we just sold that uh, mid-century, a really long like nine drawer dresser, sixteen hundred cash, sold in thirty six hours. There is a wait list of five other people waiting to buy it, so. Maybe we price it kind of low. I mean, I'm totally okay with $1,600. We turned 300 into it, uh, but probably could have got 2K or maybe 2K plus, but uh, still pretty good, easy money. Just dropped off that uh, mid-century low boy dresser and there's actually a really, a really big Goodwill right here that we've been to before, so we're gonna go check it out. Just showing a really cute couch we saw at Goodwill for $39.99. And then up here is a really good baseball glove. Decided to check it out and run the eBay comp, see how much it's worth and what it sells for. And I'll go over that in a little bit. So we stopped at that random Goodwill, ended up picking up a Mizuno uh, baseball glove for five bucks. This should sell for about like $40. So after fees, you probably get like 20, 25. And we ended up purchasing that couch you saw in a previous clip. It was listed for $39.99, and I was like, hey, like, can I get a pen so I can write my name on it? They're like, oh, yeah, sorry, it's actually $14.99. I was like, I mean, okay. So, got this. And there's actually a matching one that just popped up for free in our local area, so we might go get that as well. And maybe have, like, kind of a cute little, this is kind of like a Nancy Meyer vintage vibe, almost. Probably list is up for, like, $300 to $400. It's not big big money but uh megan said it's cute so she said it's cute it's cute so we were at the antique unit this piece just sold time to load it up yeah so that's three thousand one hundred and eighty dollars to sell and deliver all this stuff let's go so megan posted this uh antique primitive dresser last night and it sold in six minutes for thirteen hundred dollars i believe or fourteen hundred dollars so we just brought it from the house we're gonna take pictures and we're putting it into storage and then uh billy and i are delivering this right now for 580 plus i think like 200 dollars delivery fee this sold for 650 this also sold last night for 500 500 even he's picking it up today and the lady that was like all bouncing around whether or not she didn't know what she wanted she's actually buying this for 1400 and she or maybe she's I can't remember if she's buying this one or that one, but uh, she's supposed to buy this one too, all the Crocs, this lamp, but she's kind of been flippy floppy around, so we shall see. Megan just sold another dresser, the car just ran around the corner, uh, plus $1,295, plus an additional $75 to deliver it, and they also might buy one of our dining tables and also my Haywood Wakefield MCM uh, side tables for an additional... 1750 we shall see
huge, huge sale. This lady drove up here from Texas and she just spent, she bought a piece for 1,400, 600, and a couple of smaller things for another like 300. 2,195 all in and she has to drive it all back to Texas. And she said, hey, you know, if you guys get more good stuff, like let's figure out how to ship it to me down in Texas. So, woohoo! So this is an update after the crazy weekend of sales where we did $14,555 in sales. Our actual take home profit for this last weekend uh, was one, two, three, four, five, which <laughs> I think is really cool. Definitely, definitely a new record for us, like no questions asked. Beginning of the month for the first like, I think like 10 or 11 days, we sold like maybe two or three things. Not even, we sold like $60. Yeah, we sold like a $60 croc. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the weekend, everyone's like, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. And the stars lined up and whatever, and just like everything's gone. So I'm gonna do a quick little tour, turn the camera around and show you guys everything that's still here and what's already sold and what might be sold. So, bring it back. Okay, well right when you walk in, uh, we're loading up this one right now. I'll put up a picture of our original posting on Instagram right here. This piece sold in six minutes. And that's just super crazy. We're basically creating like our own like FOMO market in a way because like the stuff we get goes like instantaneously at times it seems. Uh, this is already sold. A uh, lady that the lady that came here from Texas ended up buying two more Crocs, and yeah, this is gone. oh yeah, and a different lady ended up purchasing this. She messaged me last night, like on her way home, like oh my god, we're like on the high from crazy sales. And the lady's like, can I buy this? And I was like, oh yeah, sure, like of course. You're not thinking anything of it, you know. Like I think everyone's kind of just like BSing until I they actually pay. And sh sure as spit, she paid, and it was just insane. So we sold this for $1,700. Uh, she might have us deliver it for an additional like three, $400 to like a two hour drive south. But uh, if not, she can come get it. But this is paid for. You know, everything back here is still available. Um, someone might be yeah, we have this up for 550 and someone offered 450. Yeah. And we have this, um, this is a little thing called Ozium. And then like a eats the smell because it has like a, kind of like a thick smell of. Like varnish or something. I mean, kind of not even anymore, but it used to smell like varnish. So that's pretty cool. The lady that ended up wanting this said like, "Oh no, like I'll pass unless you have two. So, but uh, in my mind, if we had two, we probably wouldn't be selling them because we'll never find two again. Uh, there was a little pine trunk right here that sold that looked like this. The same lady that came from Texas bought that for $195. This stuff's still here. You know, all this goodies. The lady from Texas ended up not buying the two chairs or that big, like, stone concrete lamp looking dealio. But, uh, yes, you can tell there's a huge empty space right here. Let's see, there was the stained glass piece, which is, th which is this. Then there was the primitive cabinet, which is this. I think that was all that was right there. And then looking right here, uh, there was a tall uh, pine piece looking like this. And another uh, two piece like pine. Um, lady ended up using it for a pantry. And that looked like this. And then back in that corner was that primitive cabinet I showed a little bit ago. Mm, and I think that's everything that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, yep, yep. There was also this piece. This was right here. Uh, this was actually our personal collection. We had it on the side of our couches. I got a little side table where you store the remotes and whatnot. But uh, that sold. I'm trying to think. Oh, this piece sold as well. This like massive like nine drawer MCM Lobo that you saw us refinishing and maybe a different video. Uh, from when we got it, you know, Megan sanded up, made it look pretty. Per <laughs> wow. And uh, that sold in like two days for $1,600, paid $300. Uh, I'll do a quick little montage of everything too, like right after this clip, so you guys can see like a, maybe like a one and a half second little 
segment of all the stuff, all the antique stuff that sold, I'll leave my couch stuff out of this. But my couch uh, seating sales was like twenty two hundred dollars and twenty two ten, something like that. Uh, but not not too crazy. I'm a good update for now. If another five thousand dollars falls in our lap, I'll let you guys know. We ended up going and purchasing this very old antique dresser for twenty dollars off of um, I think offer up. As you can see, uh, it's not perfect. It needs a lot of love, but we definitely think this is something in our wheelhouse that we believe we can fix and restore. We, as in Megan, I'm not touching it. But these drawers are, these handles are the actual really good, you know, wood turn screw knobs. So this immediately proves its age. Oh, are they? I didn't even know. Yeah. And the doorknob or doorknobs, wow. Well, the knobs have like mold on them. I'm pretty sure this was like left out in the rain and the dude didn't know what he had. The guy we got this from actually also restores and sells furniture for a part time hobby. But it's a bunch of stuff that, you know, we wouldn't touch, but more power to you. But here is what the back looks like, you know. True antique hand forged nails, the stuff you like to see. Megan's excited to work on it, even though we have this project, this project, yes. this project, this project, this project. I'm gonna walk around here, this one, this one, and this one. Megan sent me a picture, and one whole drawer is already done. It's a super easy fix. It's probably been maybe 20 minutes she's been out here. And she wants to keep the color of the knobs, like, really dark. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that because these are like really, really caked in there. They're glued in there. Like, oh, yeah. They're, yeah, they're not. You can't get them out. So, we'll see. But she's basically saying it's just like a, a giant puzzle. But I already had all the pieces and the guy didn't think it was worth his time. Uh, this should be probably be done in probably in like 30 minutes or to an hour. Yeah, all you do is just put the center piece in and then you slide the slat boards in and then you'll nail it together and it holds itself together. Easy so peasy. It's super easy fix. Cool. So we just got this delivered by our local competition. So Derek, if you ever watched this, thank you very much. But this is a true Broyhill Saga two-piece kitchen hut, which the tag is unfortunately no longer a part of it. Which I'm just double checking, but that is okay. The drawers are open perfectly. But this is a very, very, very good piece has these really awesome like emboss or whatever you can call it, little star details. We've sold the dresser and the tall boy before, the headboard, and the small uh, one piece hutch of this before. So we already know this stuff sells and for a ton of money. We paid $700 for this whole piece. And I honestly think we should do like Maybe it started at twenty five hundred and maybe get like for sure a thousand dollars profit. So sick. Beautiful. So here is this dresser. It's already all done. We have someone currently coming, supposed to be here in the next like five to ten minutes to hopefully buy this. We have it up for five hundred and fifty and we'll take basically four fifty or higher. Yeah. And Megan ended up using this product. This is called Osium. I use this for my video game business. If you have like cigarette smell and just bad smelling stuff, you put it in like a tote and it removes the smell. It takes a while, but it works. Because this cabinet smelled heavily of, what would you call that? Like stain or varnish or? Varnish. Yeah. So kind of like that strong, like a solvent smell chemical. And now it doesn't. So and there goes another sale. They ended up paying full price, 550 bucks. Brought some stuff to storage and someone finally wants to come get this, hopefully tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, we had it up for 500, 600, 400, and lowered it down to $280 and someone on Craigslist. So like, I love, love, love it. Uh, how much can I come get it for? And then would you also deliver it like an hour away? I don't want to pick this thing up because it's actually stupid heavy. And we got this one finally finished. So now all the drawers are open and closed smoothly. Smoothie. <laughs> but uh, this, if you guys remember, probably like a month or two ago, probably by now at this point, 
This was free on the side of the road, literally. And this is a very high-end dresser. So someone's going to hopefully buy it on Saturday at 9 a.m. Nope, 11 a.m. for 700. So that'd be chill. And this was that $20 project piece that we got two days ago. And I'll put up a picture of it, what it used to look like right here. So it went from, you know, a total basically project to looking like this little pretty little thing. And the person we got it from was actually a woodworker. And he's like, oh yeah, good luck on this one. It's trashed. And uh, it's done. Granted, you know, it's... I'm pretty sure it was left out in the rain, for sure, because the drawers are all kind of cattywampus, but they all open and close great, and, you know, this stuff is our clientele, so should definitely sell. Somebody is coming to buy this um, Saturday at 9 a.m. She already paid. That sold in, like, five or six minutes, and then we're going to try and... Oh, I'm going to try and convince her because I'm trying to upsell, but i uh, try and get her to buy this as well. And we'll walk over here. So now we have... A bunch of space right here, assuming that she buys that, another person buys that, another person buys that, and this. You know, we have a lot more space. But we have a Monster Broyhill Saga uh, breakfast hutch at the house. And hope. Picked up another wardrobe. Oh, yeah, I picked up another wardrobe, which I'll show you guys at the house as well. Someone messaged me on this piece. She's like, hey, like, I'd love to come pick this up for $150. Also, I'd love to buy this too. So if that's the case, I would happily, happily, basically like pay full price and I'll give you that. It's like my- Shoot, I wouldn't, you're paying for both. Oh, never mind. pay for both. But we've had this forever, but this thing is freaking beautiful. You've probably seen it in our couple other videos, but- That's like one of my favorites. I yeah. I understand why it's taking so long. And going back through here, you know, you can kind of see the other stuff. This lady already paid and I'm having a family friend deliver it for us. So he can make some money. Uh, I charge three hundred dollars for them to deliver it, and he gets all three hundred. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, lots and lots of pine, and we're slowly starting to become known that you know we're the people that have pine out here. And if you want to sell stuff, like you sell it to us, because we care about this stuff, and we might keep it too. So pretty cool just sold uh, another dresser that uh, MCM Lowboy. I'll put up a picture of it right here. Uh, another $700. So this piece we got, I think we literally got it yesterday, right? Yep. And uh, Megan fixed it up and made it look pretty, AKA like nailed the uh, loose trim back on and she actually filled the hole in the back because the, there was a giant cutout right here, but it had the original pieces. So she just put it back in. And this literally already sold today. Oh, cat's going in to investigate. It's been listed on our Instagram for maybe four hours. And it's already sold full price plus delivery. She was all in $1,245. We paid $400 literally yesterday. Oh yeah, while we're talking about stuff that sold, we also sold that uh, MCM Lowboy, which you saw in the previous clip of them leaving. Uh, that was free on the side of the road and just sold it for $700 cash.